Hey guys, this is Cruise Roy with the Align Trex 100X. After 20 batteries, I lost my first tail motor. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but maybe you're supposed to let it cool down a little bit more, so I decided to do a 100X tail motor replacement. My motor came in today. Uh, so, you want to take a pair of scissors out, tweezers, soldering gun, solder, uh, the brand new motor. Get it all placed out. I have a mag light that I like to see, but I did use the scissors to gently remove the plug for the tail motor. Very hard to get out and watch those little gold wires because all they are is epoxy coated armature wires. Uh, once you do get that released, so gently try to pull and tug as best you can to get the boom out of the main Trex body. And uh, just pull really gently because you could break these little wires or score them on the aluminum. And uh, then you'll have a bad ground. Uh, once you got it out, pull it out as far as you can until the connector hits the base of the tracks. So you don't want to remove the connector, it's a little difficult to get on and off. Uh, now you want to pull the motor basket off. So you gently tug and pull on that. But while you do that, push the boom back towards the treks and put it right back into the treks body. That will give you enough room to work on the new motor and also do your soldering and everything and you don't have to cut the connector off at the other end. Now you want to work on the motor basket and cut and pull the propeller off the rotor main uh, the tail rotor blade sorry and I used an X-Acto knife to remove the shrink tubing gently off the wire and then I cut pieces off and I did leave a red wire remember to leave either the red or black to remind you that which is uh, positive or negative Otherwise, you will have to deal with the bracket on the other end and kind of reverse the wires so you can reverse the polarity on the motor. Uh, what I did next is I, I cleaned up everything and I pulled out the new motor and took it out of the package. And what I did is I started to, uh, I'm going to work on tinning the wires to the new motor with the soldering gun. And um, also taking the old motor out of the bracket for the Trex. Now remember how it was wired through the uh, Trex tail bracket because it's a small hole and a big hole and the boom will not fit through the small hole. Uh, get your shrink tubing on the wires before you get started with the soldering iron. I tinned the motor at this point and now I started with the negative wire and soldered that together and then I took the piece off that I left on and re-soldered the positive wire. Now the next thing you want to do is bring the shrink tubing in and gently use the soldering iron to uh, you want to gently use the soldering iron to lightly heat the shrink tubing and and start to shrink it and when it gets to a certain point use your fingers and squish it flat it's the only way it's going to fit through the boom and now you pretty much gently put it back in reverse the way we took it off and I put a little drop of CA glue to hold the motor in place. When I originally got it, the motor was all flopping all over the place. Might be a mistake later when I go to replace the next motor, but I'll deal with it then. And it's a lot cheaper to buy the motor than the whole boom section. But All right, and voila, here we go. And later on, I'll try it out and uh, hope this helps somebody out. And this is Cruz Roy, and I'm definitely out of here. Stop me away, please.